I'm going to be using this to receive a little bit of video signal. I'm plugging it into a Raspberry Pi and when this goes in the whole entire machine just shuts down because it draws too much current out of my USB port. So uh, what I need is a powered USB port and this is a cheap USB hub that I can, I'm can i pretty happy with sacrificing um, to uh, make an external power source for it. I'm just going to go ahead and take the screws off. And there's really not much to pull. Yeah, I can pull this out. Um, the four wires coming in, red and black, are for power. Okay, one quick note before we get started is this black wire is connected to a ground um, and this this whole entire pad here is ground and we don't want to disconnect that because we need our computer's ground to be the same ground as this ground um, so you can notice that all of these other points on the board that are connected to uh, this metal housing on the USB connector are actually also ground so I can actually just take uh, my external power wire and put the ground onto one of these and probably this one because there's no solder on it someone did a bad job of soldering and I can just remove this red wire uh, I could tap in a 5 volt external power supply right into that pin okay so here's the plan I have an old USB connector um, that I've chopped off the other end of uh, for something else and you could get these probably inside an old USB mouse or something like that that you don't need. And for the cabling and wiring, I have a bunch of uh, Ethernet cable. This is just a huge coil like that um, that someone tossed out. So I've got two wires. And this is going to go on somewhere here, one there, and one there. And then the other end of it is going to go onto the red and black of this other USB connector and this way it could connect it to a uh, phone charger or something like that with the USB 5 volt output Okay, here's the fun part, uh, the smoke test. So, I've taken the liberty to tape off the red wire right onto the uh, original wire, USB cable, and the other in it, I'm going to plug it right into a uh, USB phone charger, which should be 5 volts. And I'm going to have this in my hand, uh, just, you know, not that bad. You might be able to see LEDs when I turn it on, I don't know if this is going to work, so. Here we go. There we go. And we have a green light. And there's no smoke, nothing blows up. So, there we go. Now we've got a powered USB hub. And this thing can deliver uh, 2 amps, 2.0 amps. Right there. Okay, now that everything's soldered up, I can actually put it back in its case. So, I'm going to take these wires and match it up to uh, the little notch that's in the case, so I could put that in like that, right? And now these wires should all still fit through that one little gap, like so. And I don't remember which way this goes, but uh, it looks like there are three of those screw things here, and there are three like that, so it's probably this way. So, hmm, I was missing a screw on this thing. That's interesting. But, there we go, that's together. And I could just put these screws... Uh, hug. Original USB connector. 
and of course the other end to it is here. It goes into there. Now we're gonna test that on our little dongle that we had before. There we have it. This is a finished powered USB hub. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye.